Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Once Upon a Mesh Story. I am your host, Top Ash Mesh, and every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a featured show here on the app. Please, please sit back, enjoy the wonderful tales that are being spun today. And must I give a one more shout out before we start our show? Please, please make sure you are favoriting my top three supporters of the stream. That is Asia Kim, Top Batch Groovy, and Top Bad Smurfy. I will be unable to acknowledge all of the gifts, but I do appreciate and thank you for them. The top gifter at four o'clock will have their name prominently beside mine for the next show. That person is our gold king or queen. Right now, it is Asia Kim for the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please, 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 a warm welcome for our storytellers who at this point are requesting the box. Storytellers, please, please, please request the box. And if anyone would like to be a storyteller on our show, please make sure you're reaching out to our admins. They're right here in the audience. Please make sure you're reaching out to them. It is at this time, Emoji J, Lux. We also have Boricua Queen. Zach, or you can reach out directly to me. I would be happy to have you included in our stories. We do, we do, we do give you the story is an, um, stories in advance. So uh, this is not improv. We don't just have you box up and, you know, have you just do, uh, you know, spin a tail. We do give you um, some preparatory tools. We give you some tips, some guidelines to help enhance your show. So ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome my first guest. He goes by the name of Art Man. He is no stranger to our show, but he's going to briefly introduce himself, and then he's going to jump into his tale of Mej and the Cave of Wonders. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mej. Thank you for having me again today. Can you hear me okay? Good. All right. Um, just tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Art Man. Um, I'm relatively new to streaming. I've been here maybe five months. Um, I do portraits here and do them for free. And I'm, I'm planning on making a book called Faces of Meet Me. Uh, until they reach out to me, though, I can't for certain say that that's the title is going to be. Um, hey, Rainy. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm, I had a little issue with my printer. Uh, I did get some of the stuff printed out. Um, so I'm going to get started and it may be a little cho choppy, a little rough. It's not what I wanted it to be, but the content's there. So I think you're going to enjoy it, it uh, to say the least. Um, so without further ado, if you could just give me just one second, I'm going to get this camera set so that we can get started here. <clears throat> Switcheroo. And I didn't, because I was trying to print the my text of the story that I'm reading. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh oh, crap. I don't have another device either. Wait, Would let, you like me to just have the other guests since you're not very prepared? Do you want me well, to I... just call the other guests and then you just will give you a moment? All right. So we have this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are just going to have Danny, who's next in the box. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello, my beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please make sure that you are favoriting this beauty. Uh, she's going to briefly introduce herself, and then she is going to give the tale she has spun on Mej yes. and the Cave of Wonders. Yes. What exciting story will she tell <laughs> in just a moment? If you stay tuned, you will find out. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Mej. So I am Danny, Danny the Hat Thief. Um, I'll steal your hat faster than I'll steal your lunch money. So <laughs> uh, we're doing the Cave of Wonders today. I also had a little bit of issues with my original setup. So I spent last night and this morning. It's going to be digital. Um, but I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It is the Cave of Wonders. And there's a little caveat to this because I'm also on this show on the 24th, I believe. So this is part one and you'll have to stay tuned for part two on the 24th so uh without any more time, we're gonna head straight back without a hitch 
We're using a little bouquet of flowers to hold the phone. So let me know that you can still hear me. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Okay. Once upon a time, oh no, hang on. Okay. okay. Once upon a time in a place called Meetneyburg, there lived a wonderful, glorious rumor ruler named Mej. Mej worked so hard to keep the people of Meetneyburg happy, healthy, and rich. Mej would take long journeys to lands far and near in search of new people to bring into the kingdom to become the greatest kingdom there ever was. Mej traveled to places called Zooksville, Scoutland, and POF City in hopes of finding others to join the quest in finding the Cave of Wonders. No one quite knew where it was, but the stories were legendary. <clears throat> it's been said that the Cave of Wonders was once where a local girl, Danny, would hide her most prized possessions, but no one quite knew what those were. Townspeople had always been told Danny was once due to be royalty, but her disappearance had left Mej's family line so set to become oh, sorry, we're gonna have commercials. <laughs> set to become the royal family. Everyone searched and searched for days, weeks, months, even years to find the Cave of Wonders in hopes that Danny's possessions would provide much needed gold to the kingdoms and lands. One day, a strange old lady came to the town of Meetneyburg. She claimed she had a map to the Cave of Wonders and needed help getting to the cave and asked for volunteers. All the townspeople laughed at her and told her she was a crazy old lady to believe in fairy tales. All but one, Mej. Mej heard about the mysterious lady and sought her out to help her find the Caves of Wonders. Together, the two of them followed the map for days then days became weeks and finally Mej asked, where is this cave? How much further must we travel? The old lady simply replied, in due time. On their 73rd day of their travels, the two of them reached a large cliff with nothing else in front of them, nothing to the sides. They were deeply discouraged. The strange old lady looked at Mej and said, give me your hat. Give you my hat, Mej replied. Yes, your hat. Reluctantly, Mej handed the strange old lady his hat while rolling his eyes. The strange old lady threw the hat like a frisbee into the cliff. No, screamed Mej. But suddenly out of nowhere, the cliff became a cave and the old lady smiled and Mej was left speechless. They entered the cave and in it, they saw a glorious mound of hats. More hats than Mej had ever seen before. These are incredible, but these will not bring my people the riches and gold they need so desperately. Just wait, replied the old lady. The old lady walked over to the mound of hats and whispered a spell. Hear me, meet me gods, and hear me now. Turn these hats into my crown. Suddenly the hats started to disappear and they both turned and looked out the cave. And in the sand, they saw the most beautiful crown they had ever seen in all their lives. Once I was called Danny the Hat Thief, I stole all these hats from royalty after I was banished in my town. Each hat had a special magical power and when put together, they became this crown, the crown of wonders. With this crown, I will take my reign back as queen and, and you and your bloodline will become my servants. For you banished me years ago, now I will have my revenge. And with the wave of her hand, Matt Mej was transformed into a servant and the two headed back to meet Eberg. That is it <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you're now tuning in, you are listening to Danny the Hat tea, uh, Thief uh, give her tale on Mesh and the Cave of Wonders. Uh, it is apparently a uh, two parter, so you'll have to stay tuned. So she may not be winning today's episode. Uh, in its entirety so uh but please please make sure you have her favorited and stay tuned for part two when next she is on our show thank you thank you so much we very much appreciate you all right ladies and gentlemen may i introduce our next storytelling guest but before we do a quick shout out 
guys, please make sure, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please make sure you have my top three supporters of the stream favorited. Uh, that is Asia Kim at the moment, Top Badge, Groovy Speech, Top Badge, who is also a judge on the show, Top Badge Smurfy. Make sure you hit that follow on all three. Please make sure you're following and favoriting my admins. Uh, so if you'd like to be a guest on our show, you are able to do so with their um, orchestration. They will get you into the group chats. They will give you the themes. They will give you some tips. We'll show you some um, past you know, winning stories just so you get yourself a little acclimated to what we are doing here. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. It is my pleasure to welcome to the box a top streamer here. She has her own featured show and she is an amazing content creator. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that we are favoriting and following Top Badge Groovy's Beach. Welcome. The air conditioning should shut off shortly. My name is Groovy's Genie. I'm here to tell you my very best master's story. Once upon a time, there was a little baby. This little baby was abandoned by her parents with a little tiny dragon. It's the only thing this baby was given. She was found upon a doorstep, abandoned, but there was a little protective red dragon with her, and this is all the baby was This little girl continued to grow up with this dragon. She kept the dragon very close to her heart. She talked to the dragon. She believed that the dragon talked to her. As she began to grow up, she really made this dragon her imaginary friend. Well, anyway, the mean parents that were raising this little girl, they didn't like the fact that she talked to the dragon. One day, they told this little girl that they were going to get rid of the dragon. That they were going to do away with the only thing that she had that connected her to her real parents. The little girl grabbed her dragon as quickly as possible. And she ran to the hills. She ran as quickly as she could with her dragon. She ran and she ran and she ran and she ran for the hills. And she ran and she ran and she ran and she ran until she found a dark cave. She thought it was a spooky cave. A very, very spooky cave. But inside this cave. This was actually a cave of wonders. Inside this cave, she happened to grab. She sat in the sand. She found something very, 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 very hard underneath her. So she reached down. She picked it up. She dusted it off. And lo and behold, I popped out. She freed me. She freed me. And I said to the little girl, oh, my gosh. You freed me. I've been in that little lamp for a thousand years. The little girl was so happy to see me, but was a little concerned. And she said, you lived in that little lamp for a thousand years? I told her, yes. It's the curse that I've been given for the rest of eternity to live in the little lamp because I'm not free. The little girl said, wow. Well, what can I do to help you? And she, I told her, I said, well, if you really want to help me, you could always wish me out. The little girl said, well, of course I would do that. If I'm given three wishes, my first one is to wish you for free. She wished me free. I said to the little girl, well, what's your second wish, little girl? She said, I wish. She said, I wish that my little dragon would grow up and be bigger. I want a bigger dragon that I can play with better because I've gotten bigger. So I made her dragon bigger. And as she got bigger, she ended up playing on that dragon. She loved her dragon. That was the most special dragon. The parents couldn't take her away because she had it hidden in the hills. She loved that little dragon. Well, one day I said to her, I said, little girl, what is it that I can do for you now? What can I do for you now? I told her, I said, whatever you wish, I will make it come true. She said, well, I made you free. It was the most beautiful thing, but this last wish was for me. I want to wish something good, something wonderful. I know what I want to wish. I want to wish my dragon to be real and free. 
So I made her dragon real. I made her dragon free. And with that, it even blows smoke. <laughs> it even blows smoke. It does. It really blows smoke. <laughs> Hold that thought. It usually blows smoke. <laughs> Unfortunately, here we go, here we go. And it was real and it was free and that's the way it should always be. And when I grew up, I knew that I too would be free. And that's my story. My very best master's story. Thank you. Top batch groovy. If anyone has now tuning in to our show, you have been listening to top batch groovy beach gave her take on mesh and the cave of wonders. Did she tell a compelling enough tale? Was it creative enough for the judges in just a while after the last guest, we are going to hear from our judges who are busy in the audience critiquing and you know, giving those extra points where it might be necessary. They will tell you in a moment some of the criteria they look for. Groovy, um, since you didn't introduce yourself in the beginning, would you like to take a quick moment and just introduce yourself? Absolutely. My name is Groovy's Beach. Um, I love playing games in my stream, entertaining people. Uh, we have a lot of fun in my stream, a lot of fun. I do have a featured show that airs every Friday night at midnight, which is actually Saturday at 12 a.m. So as soon as it turns into Saturday morning, there you can find me in my featured show called A Groovy Game Show. And we have four contestants that play three different games during the one hour show to try and become a reigning champion. We play charades, true or false, and a scavenger hunt. It's a lot of fun, a lot of laughter. Definitely come pull up and have some fun. All right. Thank you, Top oh, yeah, Batch I'm Groovy Beach. Night. I'm live uh, you can, You can... If you can just wait right back in the audience and in just a moment after the last storyteller has told their tale, we are going to hear from our judges, three amazing top streamers, three amazing creators of uh, some fabulous content here on the app. They will box up and they will give you their feedback. Uh, measure, ladies and gentlemen, measure. once again, welcome, welcome to Once Upon a Mesh Story a uh, featured show here on the app every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's where we give the storytellers a theme and based on the theme, they create a narrative filled with backdrops, costumes, and it's to be done competitively styled as well, ladies and gentlemen, because we have three fabulous judges who are going to actually give their feedback and they're going to uh, declare a winner for today's story. So who will it be? Did you enjoy Danny the Hat Thief? Did you enjoy uh, Top Badge Groovy Speech? Or do you think the winner will be our next guest? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just before our next guest uh, boxes up, I'll do a quick shout out and a special thank you to my top three supporters of the stream. That is Asia Kim, Teaser Ben and Gigi. Please make sure you have those three uh, favorited. They are stream supporters. That means you'll definitely want to favor those amazing stars. They are the ones who help creep, keep our uh, streams lively. It also helps support and encourages more content here on the app. So please, please make sure that you are favorited and definitely following um, that top three. All right, without further ado, please welcome to the box our next storyteller. He goes by the name of Arkman, and I think he might be ready for us. So Hi. whenever you are, sir. All right. Um, so let me put my other device up here real quick. I am ready. Let me just get this set on there. Okay. Um, once again, my name is Artman. 
I apologize for the uh, little inconvenience there with the technology, but we're going to go ahead and get started. It's Art Man in the Cave of Wonders. It's a mesh story, um, and I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, not so long ago, in a not so lovely world, there lived a very talented young man by the name of Art Man. Art Man grew up in the streets of meat, grew up in the streets of uh, meet me in poverty, and never knew what it was like. Ne never knew what it felt like to not have to worry about where his next meal was coming from, or what it was like to enjoy life's finer things. But don't be fooled. Although Art Man had very little to show, for which that and what he lacked in material things, he made up for tenfold and tenfold with his generous heart and self selfless nature, uh, selfless giving nature, which in itself was a very rare trait to have in times like these. You see, the city meet me. Oh, let me change the orientation of the phone. I'm sorry. It's so small. Okay. Um, doo -doo. But don't be fooled. Although Artman had very little to show, for which that he lacked, he made in material things, he made up for tenfold with his generous heart and selfless giving nature, which in itself was very rare trait, a very rare trait to have in times like these. You see, the city Meet Me was once a thriving and prosperous city thousands of people once made a destination to build their own empires in. Today, sadly, greed has stripped the once bustling city to a mere glimmer of what once was, a palace to build a bright future in. Inflation, negativity, street lurkers, pickpocketers, and trolls also cause this beautiful city to tarnish and lose its luster. Despite all of the struggle, struggles and changes the city and people of Meet Me had to face, and still do, Art Man was an optimist and knew that his heart knew in his heart that he had something to offer the people of Meet Me, as well as the world. For as long as he could remember, he drew things that, that he saw, uh, the people that he met, dang it, <laughs> oh my gosh, the people that he met, um, I'm so sorry, this is so small, I never got my printer working, okay, places he would one day travel and the life he would once live. He was such a gifted young man whom sadly the people nor the city of Meet Me never gave credit to. But Art Man didn't let that stop him from manifesting the life he knew he once had was to live. He always showed up to the market of Meet Me at the same time every day and would draw portraits of fellow Meet Means in exchange for their company and friendship. He never charged for his services, but the occasional avocado, rose, or in the very rare case, a gift in exchange for his masterpieces would send him to the moon. Art Man showed, the mar up, showed up to the market the very next day, not only to share a gift with the people, but also to see Princess Moxie. Moxie was like any other meat man. There she is. She's gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> she was royal for starters, but her pure, be pure beauty captivated Art Man's eyes. It was, a, it was a rare opportunity to get beyond the walls of the Meet Me Palace. However, he didn't let that stop him from imagining the opportunity to see her face to face and the things he would say to her. One day, Artman heard a rumor about a cave of wonders that contained a magical object that could grant him any wish. Without his hesitation, he set out on a journey to find the cave and its treasure. Um, hoping to use it to win the heart of Prince Moxie, Princess Moxie. After many days of travel, Art Man finally arrived at the Cave of Wonders. The entrance was guarded by a fierce lion, um, but Art Man was able to slip past it and enter the cave. Inside, he found magnificent treasure trove filled with glittering gold and precious gems. As Art Man searched for the magical object, he came across an old lamp. He picked it up and gave it a rub, and to his surprise, a genie appeared before him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am Mej, genie of the lamp, he said. I can grant you three wishes, but be warned, you must use them wisely. Art, Art Man knew exactly what he wanted. I wish to be rich and powerful with a palace and all the wealth I could ever want, he said. And then in an instant, <clears throat> uh, in an instant, Art Man found himself stranded, standing in the grand palace surrounded by wealth and luxury. He was amazed at how quickly Mej, the genie, had granted him his wish. For his second wish, Artman asked the genie to help him win the heart of Princess Moxie. The genie smiled and granted his wish, making Ali, uh, Artman the most charming and handsome man in the kingdom. <laughs> I'm sorry, the visuals. Okay, um, 
Finally, Art Man made his third wish. Third wish. I wish that Mej be free from the lamp. I want you to live your own life, Mej. I want you to be free in the, from the confines of this lamp. Mej, the genie, was over, overjoyed by Art Man's selflessness and granted his wish. From that day on, Ali lived, or I'm sorry, Art Man lived in the, the life of great wealth and happiness, and he won the heart of Princess Moxie, and the genie Mej was free at last, went on to live his own life full of adventure and wonder. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning in for the first time, you were just listening to Art Man spin his take on Mesh and the Cave of Wonders. Uh, thank you so much to Art Man. We really appreciate your storytelling you skills. At uh, this moment, you'll just read right back in the audience, and we'll wait for the judges' feedback on everyone's story today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Once Upon a Mess Story, a storytelling, a featured storytelling show here on the app every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'm going to acknowledge our top three supporters of the stream. That is Asia Kim, Teaser Ben, and Gigi. The top supporter of the stream will get an acknowledgement on IG, and they will also have their name behind mine as the gold king or queen uh, on during my next show. So I appreciate everyone's contribution and thank you so much for helping to encourage content here on the app. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now comes a time where our judges are going to be boxing up. All three of them will be requesting the box and they're going to give us their feedback. And then they're going to pop into their chat room and give um, some really harsh thinking to everyone's story. So ladies and gentlemen, our judges for today and all of the judges, please request the box. That is Top Badge Smurfy, Top Badge Zoe Essex, and Top Badge Kitty Commander. If you can all three, please request the box. And ladies and gentlemen, as they're requesting the box, do you have a favorite story? Does anyone have, it was there a, a standout for you? You can spam the name or you can spam the emoji of the person you think uh, that you enjoyed the most because they're all amazing stories. And it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time and effort to put together these stories because everyone knows it's a competitive show and they also put a lot of their creative juices into this. So I thank everyone for all their contributions. Uh, okay, so I have Top Badge Smurfy. I have Top Badge Zoe Essex and we're waiting for Kitty Commander. Kitty, if you can request at any time, she's probably putting on her, her final uh, touches to, to the deliberations. Um, all right, uh, as we're ready for Kitty, uh, Smurfy, if you want to take it away and give us, um, you know, some of the things or uh, the critiques or some of the guidelines that you guys as judges uh, look for. And definitely judges, please introduce yourself to anyone who's not familiar with your content and streams. So my name is Smurfy. I'm a top badge on Plenty of Fish. I have various shows that I do. I'm just about to have my third featured show called Do You Know? Um, we piloted it on Sundays and it's been agreed to be featured. So I'm super excited about that. It's like a fun game show, a bit like the game Taboo. Um, so if you want to be on the show, hit me up on Instagram. Everyone's welcome to join. You just need to bring someone that is your partner and you go up against two other streamers. So it's super fun. Um, the criteria that we look for is very strict and we have very strict scoring that goes against it. So the type of things that we look for are content, your makeup, your props, how engaged you are when you're telling your story, what your costume is that you have on, creativity. Um, and then we all individually get a bonus point, which sounds like a lot, but I say this every week, Kitty Commander be doing points of scores, like 0.75 and 0.5, and it confuses me, and then we have to get the calculator out. So, so that one doesn't count like a, a, as too much sometimes, but sometimes it can just pip um, one of our scores over the top. But yes, so they're the kind of things that we look for when we're judging this. 
All right. So, um, okay. So now judges, why don't you give us some of your, your feedback? Um, any one of you, you can start. I know you have your show right afterwards, Smurfy. So if you want to start off, what did you think about today's story and the theme and, um, did anyone stand, um, obviously someone stood out for you or maybe a couple stood out, but give, give us some of your feedback and thoughts on today's, uh, uh, stories. So I thought everyone done amazingly well. I feel like this is this is a hard show to come on, but it's also such an easy show to come on. It's easy in the sense of the community feel that you have when you're on the show and, and everybody in the comments. But you do have to unlock something in you that is creative that you may not be used to doing. So everyone done amazingly well. Um, I'm just going to recap kind of briefly. But, you know, Danny, I loved the makeup and the crown and the outfit. I feel like the music was a little bit too loud but you projected well over it. So I think that worked. I enjoyed that we we're bringing digital into the storytelling. I did like that. Historically, we've always wondered, and I know we spoke about it in the group chat, the judges and I, about if you're doing digital, are you reading it? And then is it fair to score against other people? But you could tell you were because the commercials kicked in at some point um, and you recovered well from that. I think I would have liked a little bit more description in when you were talking. So you talked about the beautiful crown, but you didn't kind of give us insight into what made it beautiful. So it would have been nice to have heard a little bit more description on that. Um, I originally loved the idea of a part two, but then when we got to it, I was like, oh, I kind of want to hear all of it now. So I guess we'll have to come back to hear the, the next. So I do feel like maybe that did affect my scoring a bit, not having the full story. Um, but all in all, you've done incredibly well, and and I was I was really enjoying it. Was engaging. So yeah, well done to you. Do you want me to do all of mine, and then, or do you want to go round? What do you want to do, Mesh? No, you go ahead, Smurfy. Okay. Uh, next up was Groovy's Beach. The outfit was amazing. Um, one thing about Groovy, if you don't know Groovy's Beach, one thing what Groovy's going to do, she's going to bring props, and she had props in abundance there was props upon props um i loved that you took us outside and your story kind of had a flow to it but you stayed on theme with the original story um i enjoyed that that it was really like a journey as you were taking us around um outside it was like you were telling the story and it was a journey that we were going on with you which i really enjoyed um the dragon was a little bit, there was some technical difficulties at the end, but it didn't affect how you how you read your story and everything you went through. And I think it was really good that even though you were outside, you could tell the sun was beating down, you were still able to keep your composure while you were telling your story. You didn't become flustered, it was clear, you you enunciated everything really well, and it was a overall props to you, great, and you looked fire, you looked amazing. Um, Artman was last. There were some technical difficulties, but you managed to get through it okay. Another another what I'm deeming is like a digital story. Um, because you were reading it, and I know it's a lot to have to manage, you were reading it, you didn't realise that the visuals weren't showing. Um, but I do have one request. Can you please clean your iPad? Because the fingerprints, my OCD was going into overdrive with the fingerprints. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, it was difficult to keep up, I think. Um, but you know, all in all, I loved it. I love that Mej was a genie. This is a really challenging thing to do when you're trying to kind of stand out from everyone, right? You're trying to do something that no one else is doing so you can stand out and get the points. But sometimes less is a little bit more and maybe that engagement with the audience would have kind of like brought me in a little bit more than, than seeing it on the screen. And then the iPad just, it sent me, it sent me off the charts. So I was like, I just wanted to get a, a wife and <laughs> help you out with that but all in all everyone done so well i absolutely love this show if anyone doesn't know I, i'm a judge every week alongside the beautiful zoe and beautiful kitty commander um, and even when i got my new featured show i've changed my day and time so i can be here and not have to leave early every single week so my new feature show will be mondays and not saturdays for this reason so please make sure you favorite Mej, favor all the judges and favor all the admins of the show because everyone puts so much effort into bringing this onto the platform and we love it so please do make sure you favor everyone thank you thank you thank you and you know sometimes we think we have people favorited and the app does glitch that's why we are as repetitive as we are in saying please follow and favor everyone a lot of times it unfaves um, just because of how it's designed. So please make sure you double check that you have any of the judges, uh, all of the judges uh, faved and definitely please favorite my top three supporters of the stream. They're the ones who keep the, the streams lively and they 
encourage us to want to create content. Now on to top badge, Zoe Essex. She is going to give us um, a little intro about herself, and then she is going to jump into her feedback on today's storyteller. Zoe, what did you think? Um, yeah, so I'm Zoe Essex. I've been a top badge approaching almost two years now. Can't believe where the time's gone. That's just like crazy. Um, I haven't got any like set shows going on at the moment, but please do give me a favor anyway and come hang out. We have all sorts of games and things like that. And I do tournaments and stuff, which will be starting in, we've got a couple of weeks yet, but it's coming up. So please do come and get involved because we have a lot of fun. Um, looks like we've got a new judge today as well. Look, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Chucky. <Thank> <laughs> um, yeah, another great night tonight. Um, so we started off with Danny. Uh, we was in Meet Me Berg and we had Mej King. Um, I, I did enjoy the incorporation. I enjoyed what what was what we was trying to do with the with the incorporation of the digital pictures and everything. Um, I, I like the the idea of it, but I must admit. For me, I found it I found it a little bit distracting because when I first saw you, you came on and you looked so lovely and you had your crown on and everything, like I kind of felt like I wanted to see more from, from you. I don't know whether that was just me, I don't know. Um, sometimes some of the illustrations didn't seem to be quite um, following the story that you were telling as well. And actually I found that a little bit distracting, um, but your story was a good story. I, the, way, the way that you told it was really, really nice. Um, and, but yeah, I, I feel like I needed a little bit more in the sense of um, like I got a bit confused with the the hat thief and then how that I wanted to know like how how the hats got turned into the to the magical crown and stuff like that. I just I, I kind of agree with Smurfy on that that maybe a little bit more description in there would have would have helped the story along a little bit. Um, and then then we move on to 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 Groovy. I mean. I didn't really like it. I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. It was amazing. The minute that you came on, like, like, Meg is like, yeah, please do introduce yourself. And she's like, I'm the genie. I'm like, oh, okay, straight into character. And then like the, the outfit was like amazing. And then we were we were going on a journey and you're walking around and we're inside and we're outside. And I was so gripped. I just loved it. I thought the props were amazing. Um, and then to get to the end and have a full grown animatronic dragon with smoke yeah. coming out of its mouth and everything i'm like i am living for this like it was just <laughs> it was just amazing i absolutely um oh i have no words i have no words it was brilliant well done and um please do come back and and give us more because i wanted more at the end of it um art man uh i <sighs> It was a bit of a struggle, wasn't it? I actually felt really bad for you because I could tell that you had the whole thing planned out and you said that you actually was going to have the physical illustrations in front of us and, and, and it didn't go to plan for you. And it made it difficult to enjoy it because I felt for you, you know, and I could sense that you were struggling. And then the, the iPad was going on and off and, and all of this kind of thing. And, and it, But... I, I, you know, it was it was a nice story, but because there was so much stopping and starting and everything, it made it hard to follow. Um, but I know that I, I would love to actually see for you to come back and do it again, or do, or, or maybe do something, do another one or something where I can really see because I've not I've not actually come to your to your, I've not seen your stream yet, I've not seen what you do, and I would love to see these illustrations and stuff that you that you're doing. And um, yeah, it was a lovely idea. So, um, but yeah, but well done, well done. Do you know what? You stuck with it. You kept going, and it was it was it was good. So all in all, everybody done a great job. Few little bumps in the road, but great. Well done. <laughs> All right, thank you, Zoe Essex. Top badge, Zoe Essex. And now to onto our next lovely top badge. This would be Kitty Commander, still making her uh, her notes, always with the copious note taking. Uh, top badge, Kitty Commander. <laughs> what are your thoughts? So I want you to introduce yourself to us, so anyone who's unfamiliar to, um, with you, and uh, a quick 
it's out of this, but congratulations to Top Badge Kitty Commander for winning the Top Badge Mystery Royale Champion. So we got a champion up in here already. So big congratulations <laughs> to the winner of the Mystery Top Badge Battle Royale last weekend. So big congratulations to Kitty Commander. <laughs> Not She's with so you. She's like, oh, oh my god, no! I know. Now my face is turning red. Look, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, you know, I cannot wait to admit. Wow. So I mean, I had some. So I real okay. So Danny, I want to echo to like the sentiment. Um. So I'm Kitty Commander. I have a featured show all about pets. Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have a pet and you want to share it with everybody on the app, please hit me up on my DMs on Instagram and let me know. And I'll get you scheduled to be on the show. You don't have to be a streamer to be on the show. Um, but if you are, that's even better. So that gives you a chance to network with other people across right. the app. And so a chance to see, you know, your pet. Um, my pet, Binka, just came to visit us for a minute, you know. Um, Binka ran away after I started combing Binka. So that's yeah. how I got rid of my kitty. Uh, like, and she doesn't discriminate against uh, pets. So don't think nope. that you're boxed in any, um, but it has to be a pet and must be like, yeah, you know, it can be not, no stuffed animals. Spiders, geese, we've had emu, pigs, we've had tarantulas even. So don't, don't feel it's any pet. Um, so exciting, but let me move forward and talk about your guys' incredible stories. Um, first off, Danny, I, I too thought we were going to be seeing a lot of you, um, with the costume. Um, I thought you did a well, like I was, when I saw you, I was like, Ooh, let's go. Um, I liked your, your costuming. Um, I do agree uh, too with Smurfy, you know, sometimes, um, the the sometimes i did have a very difficult time hearing um and i it, it, i turned it up even further um because i couldn't quite hear you very clearly which meant that i missed parts of what you were saying um throughout your story um and i could tell you had spent a lot of um time doing your story so i had wanted to hear it all um and in parts i really found it very difficult which added a, some kind of suspense but not kind of the ones that we want to really have um i really i really liked um the graphics um, and the and the things that you put into it, the cost, you know, the the costuming, the effects and stuff. Um, I just like I said, I think I, I think the the story was solid. Um, the one thing I would have liked is just to, uh, maybe a bit more of a sound check. Um, and before you start in, that's all. Um, I, I think that I would have fully been able to get in it a little bit better. Um, and then I'll go to um, Groovy. Um, I'm not going to do a suspensive like Zoe, but um, I thought it was <laughs> buzzing. Like I, I was, I, I really liked this a lot. I, the outs, so we had a, we had scenery changes. Like, you know, we, we we had a dramatic appeal. We had use of the camera. I want to say that I really enjoy when people use the camera in ways that, where it, it's including us and drawing you into the story and the way you used your voice and your tonal inflections as well. Um, you were, you were, you were, you were like drawing me in to your story as well. So those really key elements of using the camera to your benefit, a scenery change. And and it wasn't so, it wasn't distracting too, because at some point I feel like it can be distracting. Um, I did not feel distracted. And that also meant something important to me because sometimes I have been distracted and <laughs> then I get lost about what we're doing. Um, so I wanted to say that I thought those were well done and well placed. Um, I also, um, 
I also put down here that I could hear you very clearly, which was also a very important thing. There was enunciation in your words and that I could clearly hear you. I loved your costumes and your props. You know, yes, you have a lot of them. Yes, they were useful, though, in the story. Right. I always ask myself when somebody who has props, is this useful into the story itself? Yeah, I felt it was incredible. Um, I, I put the, the one word I put down here was buzzing. I felt buzzing like I felt after you were done, I had a buzzing feeling like all over. That means I guess in my in my head, I was just like I loved it. Um, Artman, you know, I loved your anim like, so your pictures, your computer pictures were so well done. I, I want to, I know that takes so much time to do. And um, just from my own experience and knowing how much time it does to make those kind of um, efforts. And, and I know that, <laughs> I know that you put in so much work here to make it to make this beautiful story um i put in i put here it was an admirable attempt because of the stopping um and i the visuals i thought were stunning i want to just i want to emphasize i think that the visuals it's themselves were stunning um and i i loved what you're were trying to do it just was a bit too choppy um, and, and that being said, I would love to see you come again because the creativity there was so right. on par and that you were attempting to bring, to bring in these things. The visuals, I felt like I said, were stunning. And if it was in just like maybe one character area, like I, I you know, there were just some things that needed a bit more. Um, and then the transition with this with with it um i thought that would be a, a a really well done attempt um and that being said i don't want to discourage you in any way because i see all of the pieces um i just see they didn't come fully together for you um I admire the way you kept being persistent though i i want to say this that you were persistent you did not become, uh, it did not seem to me that you were angry or upset that things didn't quite go the way you would want them to. And, um, and I'd also want to tell you, I admire that. So um, that's, those are my critiques, everybody. Um, well done. I really enjoyed you all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you were just listening to our judges top badge Smurfy, Top Badge, Zoe Essex, and Top Badge, Kitty Commander. I was about to say for Top Badge, but then I remember she is a Top Badge. Uh, just like, all this long time program to say Kitty Commander for Top Badge. Uh, all three gorgeous top streamers here on the app. Uh, they are the judges. They are my resident judges for Once Upon a Mess Story, a storytelling show here on the app every Saturday at 3 o'clock. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are going to uh, go into deliberation. So um, thank you so much to all the judges. Please make sure you hit them all up with a favorite. Please, 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 please. They're going to deliberate and they're going to decide on who the winning storyteller for the show was today. Who will it be? I saw pretty much everyone's name being... Um, oops. I saw everyone's name being spammed in the the chat. So this is going to be quite interesting as to who our winner is. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I must shout out and acknowledge my top three supporters of the stream. That is Asia Kim, Teaser Ben, and Top Badge Groovies Beach. If you are new to the stream and don't have me already favored or followed, please hit that star on my name. And thank you so much for spending your Saturday afternoon listening to our stories. Thank you to everyone who has been contributing um, gifts and their time and spamming comments here uh, uh, during the show. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to be a storyteller um, for our show, please reach out either to myself or to Lux or to uh, Emoji J, Bariqua Queen, or 
uh, Grizzly, they're all admins for my show. And if you would like to um, reach out to either of them or myself, please do so on IG or pop into our stream and let us know that you're, uh, you'd like to participate. Uh, it's interested you as well if you're lacking views. So um, great opportunity to showcase yourself. And um, yeah, get in on the fun, get in on the fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, I am going to look down and check uh, who the winner is. I'm scared, I'm always scared because these judges don't, I know they're all pretty looking, but they get a little feisty in the chat because if they are a little gung-ho on one particular uh, storyteller, they do go to, to, to the bat for it. So. Who will it be? In just another moment, we'll find out. But at this time, I'm going to ask all three of the storytellers from today, Artman, Top Badge, Groovy Speech, and of course, Danny, the ha uh, thief, to please request the box. I will first declare who is the winner for today's episode. And then the other two are going to box up shortly after. This is another chance for you to shout out your streams, talk about your streaming schedule, and um, tell anyone if there's anything that is upcoming for you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure we are favoriting every single person. And if you did not win on today's episode, please be encouraged to return uh, with just a little bit more of the judges' feedback. And also the winner of today's episode will be invited back for our season finale. So uh, you don't get off that easy if you're also a winner. Uh, you will be asked to return for the season finale. All right. So what do we have, ladies and gentlemen? Judges, 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 judges. All right, I see a couple of names going back and forth. I think they are still deciding. They are, oh my God, it's not unanimous. Oh, it is unanimous. Not unanimous, unanimous, not unanimous. I think they're torn, ladies and gentlemen. I think they're torn. So well done, everyone. Well done to all three. They're throwing the names. They're trying to confuse me. I might be replacing all three judges next week. They're confusing me. It's getting into be a nasty little battle in there. I see knives out. I see a dead skull. Not sure what the skull reference is. Hope it is not me they're referring to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, big congratulations, drum roll, and congratulations to today's winner of Mesh and the Cave of Wonders. Your winner, winner, chicken dinner is top badge groovy's beach congratulations she is today's winner well wow. well Excited. done congratulations thank you. thank you guys so much thank you all right so groovy at this oh ooh. Ooh. ow oh, bonus congratulations he meant to send it to me. Um, so make sure you send me uh, One, two, my chair from that. Oh, it was you. really meant for me, Groovy. Don't, don't take away my, so I'm gonna have, need to get that back. Um, Groovy, if, uh, con, uh, and congratulations on the, the dragon thank as well. You, uh, would you go, go ahead and just reintroduce yourself and if there's anything you'd like to say and also anything you'd like to promote, please go right ahead at this time. Yes, so I'm Groovy's Beach. And I love dragons, obviously. Um, I just thought it'd be a really fun little story to go with the dragon growing up with the girl. And um, I thank you for the privilege to do this. It was a lot of work. It was a couple weeks of work. I bought a new dragon for the show. Uh, I built that thing. It was not easy to build that. I almost gave up, but I wasn't going to quit because I'm not a quitter. And so um, anyway, you guys, I have a lot of fun on my stream. I stream every night, usually six to seven nights a week. You'll find me on at midnight to 1 o'clock a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, we play a lot of fun and crazy games. 
Uh, we, I mean, a lot of crazy fun games. We do dice, we do cards, we do charades, we do scavenger hunts, we do Pictionary Man, we do all kinds of stuff. Um, I do have a featured show. My featured show is every single um, Saturday morning at 12 a.m., which I like to call Friday night at midnight. So you guys don't get confused. It's the moment Saturday begins. That's when my show begins. So it's called the Groovy Game Show. And it's on uh, it's a lot of fun. We have four contestants that play three different games during a one-hour show to try and become a reigning champion. If you are a reigning champion, you have the right to return the next week and uh, fend for your title, to fight for your title, to maintain your title. If you can win three weeks in a row, you are a grand champion. I did happen to drop a dragon for the grand championship and jets for everybody else. So I just did that to bless them. It's not something we do. It's not a guarantee you'll do it. I'll do it again. But uh, it, it's possibility. So don't play unless you just want to have fun. Only play if you want to come and have fun. That's what it's about. That's what these featured shows are about. Having fun as we all had fun today with Mej. Mej, you're awesome. We love you. Thank Mwah. you. Guys, please make sure we're hitting up today's winner with a, a favorite. Definitely check out her content. At this time, I'm going to add the other two storytellers. And my goal queen for today, since it's four o'clock, it's going to be Asia Kim. So Asia, you will have a shout out on IG and your name will be next to mine for the next show. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Everyone, please favorite Asia Kim. All right. Um, Danny and Artman, whenever whoever would like to um, Go ahead, just first. promote anything you'd okay. like. Thank you. First of all, congratulations, Groovy. Thank you. Um, second of all, I'm Danny the Hat Thief and I did forget to mention earlier. So every Saturday at 6 p.m. in my stream, I host a fave party, um, so feel free to come on in, get your faves up. It's usually a really good time. Sometimes we have a DJ. Sometimes I'm just playing music and the box is up for people to hop into. Um, and every morning around 8 a.m. we have coffee hour. So y'all are welcome to swing on in through there and have some fun. Thank you for that. Um, and yeah, we just we have a good time. We uh, my family is life. It stands for love, inclusion, family, and empowerment. Um, and we enjoy everybody. We include everybody, and uh, we're just good people. We like to chill and have a good time. Great, you're, right, Mej, you're up next. Uh, again, thank you, Mej, for this opportunity. Yeah, it was a blast. Um, I'll be sure to clean my app, my iPad. And you're right, no, for sure. Um, all constructive criticism. I take that very uh, not lightly. I take it seriously because, as an artist, one has to um, keep growing. Um, speaking of which, I do art here. Um, here's just a couple of things that I do. Uh, I didn't really show much of it, but I do a lot of different things and everyone's welcome. Um, my motto that I live by is do unto others you want done unto you. So I would hope if I wanted some art and there was a streamer that did it, he would welcome me in too. So everyone, if you haven't, please favor me, come by, check me out. Um, also, if you have trouble sleeping, I've been told that it's very um, calming and soothing and puts people to sleep. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity. Have a great day. Thank you. One last chance to make sure you have everyone favorite Groovy, you will stay in touch with us. We will add you to our uh, winner's circle for you to compete against the other winners of uh, the following shows for this season. And Danny and Arkman, of course, you are encouraged to return to us. I think Danny will be returning for her part the two 24th. of her story. Uh, the, 20, um, the next two shows are going to be rescheduled for the month of July.